My name is Jeff Miller, and this is a video demonstrating my completed Arduino microcontroller project, a data logger programmer. The goal is to create a portable device to start, stop, data log sampling missions, and read last data point in the field without carrying a laptop for low-cost i-button data loggers and one-wire temperature sensors. While taking time off developing, SparkFun's Arduino Pro Mini 328 became available, which has sufficient memory to run the programmer software. The Pro Mini is much smaller than the Sanguino, an Arduino clone I was previously using, which allows everything to fit in SparkFun's small project enclosure case. The iButton data loggers are small, low-cost devices that look like watch batteries. They have onboard temperature and or humidity sensor, memory, battery, and clock to collect data in the field. This is a $25 temperature iButton data logger with plus or minus 1 degree C accuracy. More accurate sensors are around $45 each. Once the device is attached to the cable, the data logger clock is automatically started and synced with the microcontroller, which is using a DS1994i button real-time clock. The current data point is displayed until a user starts a mission. The sample rate can be set from 1 minute up to 60, using the plus and minus buttons to select. I'm going to set the mission for 1 minute, then push OK to start. The mission is now started. The last data point will be displayed while the mission is in progress which I will show in a moment. The programmer can also be used to measure temperature in the field real-time with the DS18 family of one-wire temperature sensors. I made a cable using a DS18B20 sensor and CAT5E networking cable for development. The temperature updates about once every five seconds. It will show the current time and date at the same time as the temperature. Switching back to the iButton cable, it will show the first data point, which is 78 degrees. If I want to stop the mission, I push yes. Give the confirmation, push yes again. Now the mission stopped, as well as the data logger clock to save battery. Prior to construction, I used AutoCAD to create 3D models of the major components due to the tight tolerances. Models I created will be posted on my blog site once I get them into a portable format. The LCD is a 16 by 2 row serial display from New Haven running in I2C mode. The backlight is powered directly from the Arduino using pulse width modulation. Total energy consumption is down by a factor of 10 to around 23 milliamps compared to the original display I was using. This makes it practical to use a lithium 9 volt battery to get 40 plus hours of runtime. I switched from hardware interrupts back to software debounce with revised polling to allow the sensors to update and still make the buttons responsive. The Arduino can monitor up to 5 volts using analog input, so a voltage divider circuit was used to drop the battery supply voltage in half. It is located under the LCD along with the push up button pull up resistors and the I button real time clock. Cutting out the holes in the case was a real challenge. I used a hobby saw, drill, cutters, and file to make them. Painter's masking tape was mounted on the back side to locate the LCD, and then uh, the main section was cut out, and then filed for the final opening. This completes the demonstration of my project. I have posted source code to help others get started with iButtons using the Arduino at arduinofun.blogspot.com.